an ancestry and culture that stretches back thousands of years. But the San people have long been dispossessed of their lands. These days, they're among the poorest in Namibia. Many survive by hunting wild game or gathering roots and berries. Drought has hit them hard. I have never in my whole life seen a drought like this. It's the worst I have ever experienced. We can only hope that God helps us. We must try to find and eat wild fruits. But with this drought, there's no wild fruit. I don't know how I'll feed my baby. More than 4,000 people in this community in the northern Kavango region face the same predicament. The government is running relief programs, but it's stretched. There has been already a program even before the drought of the Sun People uh, feeding program for the Sun People with the purpose of uh, sometimes to encourage them to stay at one place so that their children can attend school. Uh, with the drought, it, it has become a bit, a, a bit of a challenge because uh, our, our resources, is, 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 uh, uh, especially human resources, is limited. The government's feeding programs seem to have benefited most communities here in the Kavango region. But for nomads like the Sun, there seems to be no end to their suffering. Julie Shara, CCTV, Mashari Village, Kavango East, Namibia.